Hi, I'm Hans Willem. Today I have a little exercise for you that you may enjoy and that may deepen your spiritual journey. Sometimes it helps to remind ourselves that we are constantly supported and guided by divinity, wherever we are, whatever we are doing. But how can we become aware of it? We know that all of creation emanates from the infinite ocean of the All Power, which is also known as God's Spirit, Light Ether, Love or simply Consciousness. Everything is evolving modulations of experience of consciousness, like the nature kingdoms, planets, suns and galaxies. This includes the perfect evolved spirit beings which you and I have been at the time of creation. As children of God, we are endowed with a free will to co-create in this magnificent absolute divine reality which is a constant evolving and expanding. However, as we have seen in my videos, we have misused our free will for our own selfish goals, leading us to fall from the absolute reality into a temporary and illusionary reality of time and space, contrasts and the law of sowing and reaping. This has resulted in our suffering, like here on earth, which is nothing but the consequences of our past feelings, thoughts, speech and actions against the law of love. Despite our self-imposed exile, God is our loving Father who serves us every minute of our life and calls us to come home to the absolute reality. God exists not only in us, but in everything around us, including other people, animals, plants and minerals, and the entire cosmos. The God Spirit is in everything, every cell and every atom. We are totally surrounded by God, the All Spirit, who is constantly speaking to us from all levels of consciousness, if we are willing to listen. Even the elemental forces are part of the great creator power and want to serve us, if we accept them as we encounter them. Because the four powers of God are order, will, wisdom and earnestness which on earth are called the four elements, fire, water, earth and air. These four powers are providing for all forms of life on earth. In the book God Wants the Best for You by Gabriele, we read about these elemental forces. It says, they speak to us when we respect them and heed them, thus entering in communication with them. What might the warm ray of sunshine say to you as it shines through the window? What might the water that flows over you when you wash your body in the morning say to you? What message does the earth you walk on, the air you breathe, have for you?" End of quote. It's essential to recognize that the elements exist to serve humanity. Therefore, how we behave towards them matters. You may have never considered listening to the messages of the rain, the wind, sunshine or earth before. And you may even question if such communication is possible. However, I can tell you from my own experience, it's worth giving it a try. Calm your mind and listen to the elements. If you are having trouble perceiving any messages, try this one. If you had to make it up, what message would you think the elements might be giving you right now? Think about it. The answer can be an image, a thought, a feeling or anything else that might be important for you to know right now. This could be the initial step toward a very profound communication and deep insights. The quote comes from this little book, which is a wonderful new resource that has just been released in English, offering daily insights, suggestions and incredible wisdom for the whole year. I personally have found these pearls of wisdom a great way to start my day. If you are interested in this little book, just follow the link beneath this video. I hope you enjoyed me sharing this pearl of wisdom with you today and I'm looking forward 
to seeing you in my next video.